Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Attraction Marketing Mastery. This is Diane Hockman. I'm here with the beautiful, lovely, and the only one that laughs at my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Glad you're and, here. Uh, and we are so excited to be here with you guys. Um, you know, we took a little hiatus. We took a little vacation. We've been off doing a bunch of different things, and um, due to all kinds of fun things that have been going on out in the marketplace, we decided to come back out and work out a 90-day plan. And you, my friends, are part of our 90-day plan. This is going to be going on every Tuesday. We're going to alternate between 3 p.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. Eastern because we have a lot of people in Europe, and we don't ever want to leave them out, especially my U.K. buddies. But we also have a lot of people here in the States, and then we don't want to take your prime time, which is why we're going kind of early, because we know a lot of you guys have company calls and stuff at 9 p.m. It's prime time, and that is where we want your focus on your business and doing what you're doing. Yeah. This, uh, this webinar series is just our way of giving back to the industry, and yes, I will tell you up front, because I want to make sure you guys all know, we are highly and heavily involved in my lead system pro one of the top folks over there i will be talking about the tools in my lead system pro and letting you know how you can check them out but for those of you that have other tools just take the concept and run with it you know uh, take the concept if you want to learn what we're doing and what we have going on awesome if you're all set awesome because kathy can i be rude to our new visitors today oh can i be yeah, go ahead Break them in right, Diane. Yeah, I kind of don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I've been attraction marketing since before attraction marketing was cool. You know, I was country before country was cool, Kathy, right? <laughs> I've been doing this since back in the day. And, um, guys, it is, it is um, something very, very special. So I want to help all of you guys learn these concepts, apply them to your business, use them as you will. I was gifted them by a mentor. He gave them to me. I want to give them to you. The reason why I'm aligned with my lead system pro, who, by the way, does have a Google Hangout tonight at uh, 9. I can get you a link for that. Right. Bit. But um, the reason why I'm aligned with them is because they are the company that has the best tools in order to do this. Now, you can figure out how to do it all by yourself or set it up all by yourself. I did because this didn't, didn't exist at the time. Or you can use these tools or you may have other tools, whatever the case may be. Uh, I want to give a shout out first of all, um, guys. What we're doing is we're over at my Facebook fan page, which is facebook.com forward slash Diane Hockman Training. And you see my name is right there, so Diane Hockman Training. And this is where I'll be communicating, com com yeah, communicating <laughs> with you. Now, here's the scoop. Those of you that know Kathy well tend to talk behind my back about me in the little <laughs> chatty thing here in the webinar room. I barely know how to use the sucker and have no interest in playing with little buttons to pop it up. So if you have a question for me, you want to talk to me, you talk to me on the fan page. If you want to talk to Kathy, you probably can find her over there. And, but if you have something that you want me to cover or a question you want me to answer, this would be the place to put it right here on the fan page. So hopefully that makes sense. Can you guys raise your hand? Let me know, one, you can hear me because I've been babbling for three minutes already, and two, that that makes sense. Yes, wonderful. A couple people raising their hands. Okay, let me get Vanessa. Vanessa, do you want to come? I'm going to put the hands down. Vanessa, do you want to come over, raise your hands, or raise your hand, or are you busy with the kids? Anybody else? Vanessa wants to. Okay. If anybody else on our team um, is over here that is an L1 or above in my lead system pro, we would love to have you come on over and add to the conversation. So if you are a leadership level 1 or above, uh, I can't see everybody who's in here, but raise your hand, and we will move you over. I don't see. I don't know. Can I can, can can I tell you what Vanessa said? What she's over here. So. <laughs> I think she can tell me, can't she? She said she said I'll be right back. I got to get my wine. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's only five o'clock out there, young lady. Knock it off. <laughs> I know it's a webinar. I guess what I have here, I do too. Now, in my weekends, I don't, but tonight I figured I got to get myself all geared up because uh, we're having, uh, you know, we're getting back in the gear. So, so anyway, tonight's topic, and I'm looking for you guys to give me a shout out. If you've ever trained with me before, you know I get lonely. I need the feedback. I need the hugs. <laughs> tonight's topic is, um, you know, how to how to recruit more people by not recruiting. Okay, and it's a it's a, it's a kind of a, a counterintuitive thing. I've been doing it for years, 
uh, again, I was taught years ago, and this is based on the fundamentals of nobody's shouting out to me, Kathy. I'm getting depressed. We have tons of people on the webinar. I, I, they're all talking to me, Diane. Well, stop talking to Heath. <laughs> what do you want to talk to Kathy Heath for? <laughs> I know they're over there. That's why I tell them to go because I know they want to talk to you. Um, so, you know, how to recruit more people. You're going to have to suffer through my typing uh, as you guys love it. I know you all love it. Uh, more people by not recruiting. Now, it sounds crazy, but let me tell you, my track record, my, my, my best ever is 93 people in three days without making a phone call, which I think is pretty good, Kath. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, it's tolerable. <laughs> now, on a standard basis, it's generally, you know, lots of people a week. I mean, you know, it depends on what's going on. Um, but what we're doing here, I want to explain this to you. And it's, it's, it's very psychological, OK? People, I call it human physics, so you can call it whatever you like. You might want to write that down. By the way, guys, grab a new notebook for this series, OK? Grab a new notebook and pull the same notebook out every week, or if you have a notebook for all your marketing training, whatever you're doing. One of the biggest things that people do is they're writing on scraps of paper and this, this, and that, and they lose this information. Sometimes this information is going to serve you tonight. But for some of you, you're going to pull that notebook out in three months, six months, nine months, and the information is going to serve you then because you'll be ready for it then. But I promise you what I'm going to serve up tonight is going to serve you. And in fact, Kathy just told me a story a couple minutes ago. It moved me. Uh, how many years ago was that, Kathy, that little oh my, note you had written down? I don't know, Diane. I, it's at least three years old. I don't know if this came from a webinar, a call, or a private conversation that you and I were having. but. Um, I just, like I told you, I just scribbled this on a scrap piece of paper, and it's been on my desk ever since. Now, if I know you, what you did was you scribbled it in your notebook, but you liked it, so you took it and scribbled on another piece of paper and put it on your desk, you know, a sticky note or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. Mm -hmm. So Kathy was telling me that a quote that I rambled off three years ago, or however many years ago, two, three years ago, that she actually brought it up to me tonight, that that quote, that that line has been serving her for years. So, Cap, you want to read it? Just, it has nothing to do with tonight, but that was cool. No, it doesn't have anything to do with tonight, but it, it's, it's excellent. It says, put your money and your effort where your heart is and stand for what you believe is right. Hmm. I love that. Most people say, put your money where your mouth is. is I say, put your money where your heart is. It's actually scribbled on the back of a grocery receipt tape. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> Real fancy. <laughs> so I think that's kind of cool, and but most importantly, it honors me that um, that you have that note and that you've been with me, and lots of people have over the years. So I want you to take good notes because this stuff. Um, is going to really um, help you a lot. So how to recruit more people by not recruiting. 93 people in three days without making calls. My, my record, but many times I've done 10, 20, 30, 40. You know, I, I could do however many people in a week, 20 people in a week, whatever. Now, that's like, those are like fantasy numbers. Okay. And many um, traditional uh, network markers and stuff, uh, would tell you, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that. Well, that's going to be up to you to make a good judgment. Now, I know there's some people on the line tonight that are not necessarily in network marketing, um, but whether it is, whether it's gaining, acquiring customers, customer acquisition, or whether we're talking recruiting people, um, you know, the, the title could easily be how to sell more stuff by not selling. Um, so let's put that, if, if that makes you feel better. Let's talk about a little psychology, okay? Um, and again, I, I call it human physics. I've been teaching classes on this for years, and always have called it human physics. You know, I never took physics in school, Kathy. I was more of a my my, my top science class was your friend the rock. <laughs> in college, I was sort of an arts. I was a foreign language major, yeah. so. So science was like, I took astronomy freshman year, and I didn't know it was astrophysics. I thought it was like, ooh, look, there's Jupiter. <laughs> so I was really disappointed when I found out what we had to do in there. Um, so I, I'm not very scientific, but you know what? There's some science that's pretty straightforward. Like, for example, gravity. <laughs> Drop something, it's going to fall, OK? And an attraction, OK? Attraction's really a science. When we move towards someone, that person, unless they are in the state of attraction, 
okay, and that's the caveat, unless they are in the state of attraction, that person will naturally move back. Okay, try it. Go to the mall tomorrow. We'll get too close to someone, see what happens. Now, unless you're like an aggressive dude, then they'll punch you. But generally speaking, if we move towards someone and continue to get closer, that person is genetically programmed to move away. You've heard people talk about, you're in my space. You're in my space. Well, when it comes to recruiting, we all have a space. And when we see marketing that is specifically and clearly selling or trying to recruit, most people are repelled by it unless they happen to already be in the state of attraction. For example, if today I just went, oh my gosh, my autoresponder stinks, I wish I had a new one, and then I saw somebody that I know, like, and trust put up something about an autoresponder they're using, I'm already in state. I was predisposed to respond to that, mm -hmm. but on another day, I wouldn't. Okay? And if it was a spammy thing in a Facebook group or whatever, I would naturally be like, ew. Now, guys, what I want you to do is start filling up my Facebook wall. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash Diane Hockman. And I want you guys to just, you know, give me a nod. Do you agree? Do you disagree? How do you feel about sales messages? How do you feel about them in your inbox? How do you feel about them on your Facebook wall? How do you feel when you receive a solicitation phone call? How do you feel about the perfume lady at the mall that's trying to get you? <laughs> okay? How do you feel about walking to a store when the salesperson is pretty aggressive, especially if they're following you around? How does that make you feel? I'll take a sip of my wine. Vanessa, are you here? Is she back? I am here, and I was, what, I was thinking what about the perfume lady. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I always, I enter Nordstrom, and I go the opposite direction of, I go to the other entrance because they attack me. I call it the gauntlet. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Totally. Exactly. Ever been in New York City in, in Macy's or Bloomingdale's? It's like, they're, <laughs> it's like they're, they're like, they swarm you. It's incredible. Now, what I want to know is what kind of wine do you have tonight? I have a red Malbec. I knew she had a red. I happen to have a Chardonnay because we had some shrimp, so that's what I have. Anybody else Anybody else have a beverage, uh, iced tea, coffee, soda, water, water with lemon? I, I was behaving myself with a nice glass of water tonight, Diane, but you, you ladies are making me want to go in the other room and grab a nice Merlot. Well, here's the deal, Kat. Next week we're, we're in the afternoon, although it is evening UK time, but we could rationalize if we wanted to. <laughs> the week after, we're in the evening again. So let's plan ahead, okay? Okay. 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 So great. Scott says, sometimes they piss me off. Today I went to, let me pop it up. Let me pop it up. Um, oh, Steph, Steph snuck in there. Uh, sometimes I get angry when peeps are too aggressive. And she's got a glass of her favorite red. Thank you, Steph. It's cold up there. She needs to keep warm. Her and her, her voicemails, but we'll talk about that another time, Steph. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Scott says, sometimes they piss me off today. I went to a store to look at laptops, and as soon as I opened the door, see, boom, they swarmed him because the laptop's yeah. a big ticket purchase. They wanted his money. Love listening to you. Thank you, Joan. You always share my stuff, and I appreciate you tremendously. Uh, Vanessa is doesn't like the perfume ladies. Can you blame her? Um, yep, Carrie says when somebody's too pushy, I avoid them or shut them down quick. Um, Bob doesn't like it. Okay, Tracy says it, and this is the old saying. It's human physics. We love to buy, but we hate to be sold. Okay. Now, I'm going to keep going and... and Doug's, oh, I like what Doug, Doug uh, re, uh, re-quoted our, um, <laughs> our thing, and shut your mouth. <laughs> so, hello, Debbie Short, I love you. Okay, so, um, and we'll keep reading what you guys say. Um, so, we, we already know this, okay, we know this. We also know in dating, if you approach someone and you get too close, too fast, you ever, ladies, you ever met that guy that was just... <laughs> <laughs> he was just a little bit too much, <laughs> and he'd make the rounds. And my favorite was always when you'd watch him, he'd be making his way around the bar or wherever you are, and he'd hit on every single lady until they ejected him, and then he'd make his way around. It'd be, like, really funny to watch. <clears throat> you know that guy, right? You've seen him? Uh, yeah. Rico Suave. Yeah, Rico Suave. <laughs> Also, often wearing a little bit too much cologne, probably that he got down into gauntlet at Macy's. But anyway, um, so we don't like that as as dates. Uh, you know, they they call her the th three beer Betty. 
<laughs> when you can't even think about being near <laughs> until you've had three beers, you know, for those of you guys. Come on, I can, Look, I can just don't forget. Don't there. forget there's always Last Call Lucy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, um, you know, this is, this is the reality of humanity. My daughter, I'm in the kitchen. I'm usually in my office, but I'm in the kitchen because I didn't want to move. My daughter's going to yell at me. You were so loud. People are like, yeah, I know this, Diane. I came here for an hour to listen to this. I know this. Okay, that's great. But if you're not recruiting really consistently and you're not creating attraction and you're still out posting your junk in Facebook groups or whatever it is that you've been taught to do, you're still sitting on the same plane that you were on before. Okay, And attraction marketing is really absolutely about attraction. And the issue, and we're going to go on my lead system pro in a second. I should have brought it up already. Um, um, the issue, okay, weird because we're markers, but if we go out, just because we have a website where we can capture and then we go out and we do the same thing and we just put these, you know, links up all over the place, um, that's ridiculous because it's going to give you the same outcome. So having a system like My Lead System Pro, which is absolutely just gives you everything you need, that does not necessarily fix your issue. Okay, and, and how many guys I'm going to put down here? Going to shout your name out or anything like that. Yep. Does anybody want to? Nobody will say it. Okay, nope. I got one. Somebody raising their hands. One yeah. brave, two brave ones. Okay, because you understand the concept doesn't stop us yet from still going out and trying to do the things that we used to do. Because mostly we get into a state of desperation because we're just not quite sure what else to do. Anybody want to concur with that? Agree with that? Absolutely. Um, Let's look at the Facebook wall. Don't tell Kathy, because don't talk to her. Talk to me. Talk to the hand. <laughs> Webinar with all of all of the gang tonight. It does. And Vanessa, please feel free to jump in, interrupt us, and slap us around. Oh, you I are. Been, it's, it's been a little while, and I miss these. I was thinking the same thing, Kath. Yep, yep. And I mean, still I'm, I'm in here, and that's all that really matters now, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going through. I'm going through the the attendees list, and I'm seeing names of people that have been friends for like ages, and it's so good to see everybody here. And it just, I feel all warm and happy. That's awesome. So a couple people are saying, I agree, I admit it. Good for you, by the way. And there's nothing wrong. It's um, as they say. Ooh, look, Elise has had the baby, so she's allowed to have a mascot, a little sweet wine tonight. I love it. Um, beers are acceptable too for those of you that like beer. And for those of you that don't don't drink, don't worry, we don't drink all the time. It's just one of those things. So anyway, um, Tom Tom is having a petite shiraz tonight with us. Well, Tom always has something good. Um, yes, he does. That's why I like hanging with Tom. He often buys one for me, and that's why I miss him so much. Other than the fact that he's so <laughs> darn good looking. Um, okay, so. We tend to come back into this state of desperation and we move back into a state of solicitation because we just don't know solicitation. Okay, please do not make fun of my spelling. I know I misspell and mistype everything. Go for the concept, guys, okay? Don't judge. Move along. Um, so we move back into this state, especially when we're at our program and we're getting a lot of pressure and it seems like everybody else around us. It's just magically recruiting. Have you guys ever felt like that? It's like everybody's oh, yeah, doing yeah. it and I can't get a person. Yeah. Anybody? Mm -hmm. I remember that. It's no yes. Fun. The day before yesterday. <laughs> no fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> really? The day before yesterday? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I know. Really, Kathy. Um, so here's the key. Okay, first of all, we need to we need to change our mindset, okay? And at some point, this is what my mentor taught me, and it sounds a little airy-fairy, but if you can absorb this concept, it will really make a, a difference for you. I'm going to do it right in his words. Um, he told me that I was a walking reward for 10,000 people. 
What does that mean? I want you to write that down. I am a walking reward for 10,000 people. I am a gift to 10,000 people. Okay, however you want to say it. What that means is that there's people out there that are literally sitting and waiting for me right now. Now, they don't know who I am yet. But they're sitting and waiting for me to show up in their life and show them what I have going on. There are people sitting and waiting for you. You don't know who they are. They don't know who you are yet. Your job is not to convince anybody. Your job is to become a walking reward and cruise around helping people and giving out stuff until you locate the right people. Now, some people will be like, well, that's going to take forever. No, actually, it doesn't. When you recruit 93 people in three days without making a phone call, it feels pretty darn good. <laughs> so now let's, let's work around this concept, okay? One, walking reward. Okay, this is the very foundation of attraction marketing, which is... I give out stuff. Okay, I am. I, I this is, these are my words. I am the candy man, candy girl in my case. Okay, and what that means is I skip around the internet and I hand out. Notice you guys are here tonight. I'm just saying, come on down. I'm going to teach you what I know. Now, some of you guys like, well, you've been doing this a long time. Guess what? I was doing this back when they first invented the webinar room. You know, back when I first got a conference line when I could afford one because they, they, they don't cost much now. In fact, they're free. But back in the day, having a conference line to hold 50 people cost a boatload of money. The split second I could afford to get in front of people and share with them what I knew, I was doing it. I was giving out candy. I run around the Internet all day long. I send that to my list. Here's, except for the guy who thinks I have no value and all I do is sell oh. stuff to people. He hates me. But the rest of the people know if you're on my list at dianhockman.com, you're going to get free audios. You're going to get invited to free training. You're going to get free videos. You're going to get stuff because that's what I do. I give out stuff. I'm the candy girl. Okay, now this is weird because people go, how am I ever going to make money if I run around giving out stuff all day? Here's how you make money. Once you give out stuff, anybody want to learn how to be a pedophile? <laughs> that was very random. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about how do you how do you lure a kid in? This is evil and wrong, and obviously we. Win. But how does somebody lure a kid? Think about it. What do they do? They give them candy. They treat them nice. The kid feels really good. They hang out, and then the next thing you know, the kid's in their car. It's kind of messed up. It's kind of evil. Somebody's going to like hang up. I can't believe she said that. I don't know. It's just just it came out of my head. Isn't that really how somebody gets a guy to uh, gets a girl to go home with him? He hangs out. He buys her drinks. You know, they have a great time, ha, 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 giggle, she's in his car. So here's the question. And I know this sounds so, like, weird and convoluted, and why do I use crazy examples? Because I want you to understand this. No, please don't become a pedophile. You'll end up in the registry. All your neighbors will get upset. There'll be, like, a, a mark on your house or something, on maps on, on the Internet saying you're a pedophile. So don't do that, okay? And probably don't go pick up helpless women on Friday night. Um, but anyway, Kathy, I have a story to tell you tomorrow. Remind me. Okay. Um, but anyway, it's, it's, this is how things naturally work, guys. It's attraction. So if you are busy giving out stuff all the time, and all you say to someone is, I just need your name and email, and I will send you blank, guess what happens? They get in your car, figuratively. They get onto your list, onto your email list. Okay? It's very simple. Now, guys, please put questions and ideas and thoughts because I'll get to the Facebook page in a minute. So when we start to create this email list, and I'm going to show you if you don't have things, you're thinking, I don't have anything to give away and I don't have anything to teach. I'm going to show you how My Lead System Pro can solve that problem for you mm -hmm. if you want it to. But once they're on your email list, now people become, and some of you guys this is review for, but again, I want you to really sink it in. They become Jiffy Pop. Who remembers Jiffy Pop? I and remember Jiffy Pop. Mm -hmm. I almost bought some the other day. Right? Just for fun. I, I want, think I should, I want. Venice, when we were cool, if, it was, if we were good, on, on Saturday night before the love boat, my mom would do some Jiffy Pop. And Jiffy Pop is just popcorn, but 
it, it's in a little container that you would take and have a little handle, and you just shake it on the stove. You shake it, 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 right? And you would keep shaking it until you felt like your arm was going to fall off, and you would be complaining and switching hands, and no, it's never going to pop. And then all of a sudden, one kernel will pop, and then all of a sudden, two and three. If you've ever made popcorn, you know what I'm talking about. And then all of a sudden, it goes crazy, okay? And everything's popping, right? Pop, 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 pop. Your email list is like Jiffy Pop. Your job is to shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture, okay? <laughs> I'm punchy tonight. And no, I only had about an ounce of wine before I got on the call. I have not been drinking, <laughs> please be clear. It's a very small little bit, okay. Um, well, people think this, Kathy. They don't, if they don't know, know my they personality, do. they don't know that I'm like this 24 They will learn person. it. This there are a new. lot of new people on here tonight. They don't I know, know that's, that you're, you're like this all the time, so. Well, I'm putting in a lot of disclaimers. For those of you that know me, please on my Facebook wall let them know she's always like this, out of control. Um, my feeling is if it's not fun, I'm not going to do it, and I do uh, my work for my passion, for my love. Like I said, you know, Kathy's quote she read before is, put your, put your, uh, put your money where your heart is. Um, I put all my money and my business and everything into where my heart is, and this is my heart. I love teaching two things, marketing. I love teaching home business owners the fundamentals of marketing. I don't deal in the fancy game. Mojo, <laughs> okay, the mojo. Yep. Okay, and then the other thing I like to teach is mindset, business philosophy. Um, it changed my life. I went from being, I didn't even tell people my story. I just think everybody knows me, Kathy. You know, I went from being a $40,000 in credit card debt plus other debt, you know, type of uh, person uh, freaking out, bill collectors calling me day night and in between. Um, it's just an overwhelming, horrible situation to a person now that just travels the world and you know, lots of money and made you know five figures last week. Again, it got an income disclaimer. Okay, anything that I do is not representative of what you may or may not do. Uh, everything that you do out there is a result of your. Um, is it possible to make a lot of money in this industry? Yes, yes it is. I'm living proof of it, and I run with people that are, I mean, I hang out with people that make over $200,000 a month. Hello? <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. But are there a lot of people that don't make money? Yes. Could we do another whole webinar about why people don't make money? We could, but we won't do that tonight. So I want to be really clear. If I mumble something about a trip or uh, income or a check or anything else, there is no income claim here, and I am not telling you that you're going to make any money. In fact, what we're talking about tonight is just a topic and a concept, and I'm going to show you a tool that you can use if you care to. It is not an income opportunity at all. So hopefully that's clear. So back to the story here. So your email list, okay? Your job is to give out stuff and become the candy man. You can create it yourself. I'll tell you what I did originally, and then I'm going to show you how you can use My Lead System Pro. And the whole deal is instead of just giving it to people, you're getting their name and email in exchange for the thing that you're giving away, okay? And, and give away something that's valuable to them. Nobody cares about, you know, your list of your favorite iguana toys or something, you know, whatever your weird <laughs> interest is. Nobody cares. You have to make the thing something that people want so that they'll show up. So you build that email list. And then you shake it like Jiffy Pop. Okay, your job is to shake it. You shake it by sending out letters with more free stuff. And then also offers. Okay. And those offers can be for any products or services that you are promoting. And then another night we'll talk about creating officers and uh, offers and stuff like that. <clears throat> Services. Okay. Just go with it, Diane. Yeah, I know, right? So it's when you're doing this and when you let go of the outcome of who it is you recruit, okay? This is what I know. I know I will recruit people this week. I know that tonight from this very webinar, some of you guys are going to want to be in My Lead System Pro, either with me or, the per or with the person that invited you. It's very important that you uh, get back to whoever invited you. If I invited you, get back to me. And Vanessa invited you, Kathy invited you, so on and so forth. Bob, whoever invited you, okay? But what I, I know that some people that are on the line tonight are going to go, this makes so much sense, and I'm going to show you how it works. You're going to go, I want to do this. It's two bucks to get started. 
But I also know that a whole bunch of you won't, or you're in with someone else, or you're already in with us, whatever. So I know that we're going to recruit people tonight. Okay, I know that. I know that for a fact. The thing is that I don't know who that is, and I have no attachment to. I'm just going to randomly look on here and find somebody's name. John, that starts with an L, last name. I don't know you that well. Okay, I have no attachment to whether or not you decide you want to do business with us and work with us. I'm here to serve you tonight. And if you are aligned with, if it turns on, if you're one of the 10,000 people that I'm supposed to serve or that one of my colleagues is supposed to serve, awesomeness. Now, do you guys get this? Most people are running around being people. And they are very attached to the outcome. And this is what they teach you in network marketing. You go, you make an appointment, you show someone a presentation, and then you go, so what do you think? <laughs> right? Right, Kathy, across the kitchen table. So what do you think? And then you sit there and you go, please, 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 please. And then the guy goes, I don't know, I need to talk to my wife. And your whole being goes, oh. And then you go into another state of desperation where you're trying to get him on the phone with your upline and this is not. It's because you're attached to the outcome. I send out an email to all those people that I gave out stuff to, all my buddies. I am not threatening. Well, maybe a little, but hopefully not. <laughs> okay? I am not threatening. Most of the time. And then I send out, I show them an offer. And some, some of the people get excited and join. Okay, some. Now, if your list is tiny, if you have six people on it, 10 people, 12, 50 people, it might be one guy. It might be zero in the beginning because your list is so small. But over time, if your list gets bigger and bigger and bigger, that's how you sign up 93 people. See, the effort that I made to sign up 93 people was no different than the effort that I would make to sign up one person. Mm -hmm. You guys got to get that. The effort to sign up 93 people is no different than the effort you would make to sign up one person. And in fact, I dare say the effort is actually less because when you're trying to sign up one person, you're sweating bullets hoping they say yes. When you're sending out an offer and communicating, I'm going to show you how to use the tools to do this. When you're doing that and you're sending it out, you don't know who it might be, and therefore you're not worried about who's the right one or who might show up. Mm -hmm. Do you guys follow this? We're going to go back to the Facebook walk. So I want to see if you guys are with me. Does this make sense? Is it a bunch of horse poop? What is it? Let's see. Let's see what they say, Kathy. Let's see if I have lovers or haters. Could be both. Mr. Monette, his real name is Matthew Monette, but he's backwards on his Facebook. I don't know why, but <laughs> I guess it's all four five. Okay, good. Um, Patsy, uh, good. Debbie, Debbie in Arizona always likes me to have fun and have a good time. Debbie, you need to get a hold of me. We need to plan our, our time together. Hello, Ms. North Pole. Wonderful. Okay, did anybody say anything about the concept? Okay. So Alexis asked, Diane, do you mean building relationships, making conversation with people face-to-face -face that you don't know? Can you possibly give an example of what you would say to someone and how where you would, one would go to meet these type of people? Okay. I will show you that in one second, Alexis. Uh, Tracy. <laughs> I do have issues, Steph. I don't know why the pedophile thing just came into my mind. I was just... I just came into my mind that that's what they do. They run around and give out. Didn't your mother always take, say, never take candy from strangers? Exactly. There's a reason why. Never exactly. take marketing materials from strangers. <laughs> never take marketing materials. Oh, and, and of course, Angus. Well, okay. Debbie's here, too. Well, Debbie never goes to bed either. I'm wondering whether they hang out together all, at all times as friends. Um, <clears throat> anyway, Doug says, I used to think if I didn't mention my primary, I wasn't pitching. But if you were trying to get them to do something rather than give them something or help them, it's not attractive. OK. So I'm going to go back to what oh, Keith, please. 
um, Keith's a, a youth pastor. Keith, um, forgive me, and, and, and you know what I was doing there. Just making a crazy example, okay? Um, <clears throat> okay, so Alexis asked, okay? I'm going to show you guys on Twitter. Oh, shoot, I closed it down. Let's open Twitter. This is not planned. I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay, got leads, got nothing going on. Just got started. When they're willing to pull up and do something randomly, not knowing what will happen or what's going to show up. Uh, if I blow it, oh, anyway. Um, you can go in here and you can do a search for, um, do a search for um, something with, thing is yelling at me. Um, do a search for something that has to do with network marketing or something having to do with your product, but don't do just, I mean, if you just do network marketing, which we could do, there's lots of people talking about it, but it's usually just a lot of automated junk. It's not real live people. So I like to put in terms that somebody would type to their team um, or, or something amongst people, you know, that, where they're really communicating. So, for example, if we put in an opportunity meeting, because attraction marketing is like the opposite side of opportunity meetings, right? Because people are doing hotel meetings and stuff like that, and some people don't want to do them anymore. They'd like to learn them. So I'm looking for a good prospect. Maybe you're in one of these newfangled Internet deals. So let's see what I can find. Um, okay, and what I did was I put opportunity meeting in quotes because it kept giving me meeting opportunity that wasn't what I wanted. For those of you that are confused right now, I'm just on Twitter. I'm in the search box. Okay, so I'm looking. These are people that are saying, look, Angus, there's somebody in Glasgow. No, I, I don't <laughs> think that's Glasgow, UK. No, it is clean easy. Angus, I got you a prospect. There you go. I mean, Scotland is the same country. I know it's not where you live, but anyway, um, people who are literally promoting their live opportunity meeting. <laughs> I'm sorry, Diane. <laughs> Angus just told me in, in the chat box that she's his upline. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was going to say he was he followed by, he says, followed by Angus. Lynn McDonald. <laughs> See, guys, you never know. This is one of the guys on the line. That's his upline. And, and Angus is not at his opportunity meeting. Well, it's the other side of the country. But. Um, so... So, like this person, Shanika... By the way, guys, I always apologize if somebody happens to watch this, like, like here's the, it's a very small profession. We think it's millions of people. It's not because Angus knows this person. Um, so I always say ahead of time, guys, you know, we're, we're just doing an exercise. Hopefully nobody gets offended by anything I do, but they often do, whatever. So Shanika says, business opportunity meeting tonight at 7 p.m., uh, blah, 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 one black box of Khadizi dress. Okay, so I just put, hey, what, what biz are you guys in? Now, what do we know about network marketers? If you say, like, today I said webinar, I said the word webinar on Facebook, and I had, like, six people attack me to tell me about a better webinar service. If I sneeze on my webinar, how many people will write me and tell me that they have something to help my allergies? Mm -hmm. do, do we all know that about <laughs> network marketers? They tend to lunge. Mm -hmm. They can't help themselves. Them. Yep. So if I say, hey, what biz are you guys in, the chances of her replying to me is huge. Okay? And now if she, let's say she replies back and she says, I'm in five links, or I'm in ACN, or I'm in this, or I'm in that, right? And then, so then I can reply back and go, so that's cool, you guys do meetings. I stopped doing them a couple years ago. It was just rough going. And then you're going to have a conversation, and 99% of the time, Instead of trying to get them, I'm not trying to get them, okay? I'd like to help people. And if they happen to buy something from me or do business with me, it's wonderful. But 99% of the time, whoever you are corresponding with, that person, if you have a normal conversation with them a little bit, they are going to admit to you that they are struggling. Vanessa, is that true? That is true, and I have a question. 
That is very true. You have to be, we think because we're behind the computer that we don't have to be people. We all know how to talk to people because we all made it through kindergarten, right? <laughs> So we have to be able to be like, hey, how you doing? How's the weather in your town? <laughs> um, but my question about Twitter feed is, do I have to sit on Twitter now and wait for her reply, or does Twitter send me an email if she replies? No, you just check your Twitter in a couple of hours. You'll get, you'll see if she replied. I use TweetDeck, so I get a little. Uh, a lot of people use Hootsuite, but I use TweetDeck, so I get a little thing when somebody direct messages me. It kind of pops up. I have it closed right now. Or just log into Twitter. I'm not going to sit at my computer and stare and go, will she talk to me? <laughs> but I could, talk to, I could sit right now, and I could talk to 10 people real quick, right? I could go on Twitter. I can talk to 10 people, and I can have a conversation with them. And some of them will be here. Some of them won't be, and they'll write to me later. Um, like here, here's somebody uh, in Herbalife, but they're in the UK. Let's say I wanted to build more in the UK. I have a lot of business here. Let's say I wanted to build more. Um, I could say, hey, you know, I, I've been in Herbalife for years, which guys I have been. I've been, I'm an Herbalife rep. I have been for years. They don't promote it any longer, but I, I, that's where I started. Um, and they keep paying me, so I haven't quit yet. <laughs> so, um, but I could say, hey, how's Herbalife doing in the UK? Is it rocking? You know, stuff like that. They're going to answer you. Now. When we have this conversation, okay, what we have to do, where's my notepad, is lose the agenda to achieve the outcome. You should write that down. And what does that mean, Diane? Lose the agenda to achieve the outcome. Okay, what you do is meet more people today, check out who's doing what, see if anybody needs help, and if they need help, Say, hey, go over and put your name on my, uh, on my email list. I'll send out something great about that this week. Or, hey, let me give you a free report I have. Or, hey, I have a video on that. Okay? Or, hey, I'm with My Lead System Pro. We have a whole system to help you with that. Now, would I necessarily go in and hit them like that? Probably not. I'll show you what I would do. Most people, if you have an exchange of about four sentences, what happens, this is human nature again, this is psychology, this is the stuff that people resist knowing and understanding, and if you would learn it, it's so easy, guys. Everybody, when they meet somebody else, they instantly, their, their mind starts trying to figure out who's ahead of who. Who makes more money, who's prettier, who's smarter, who's cooler. Your brain is literally sorting the person. It's like you sniff them like a dog and determine, should I defer or should I take the lead? Okay, this is called the pecking order. Kathy, we haven't talked about this in so long. I was going to say, you know what, we need to do a webinar on the pecking order because we haven't we done that in a very, very long time. And we haven't done any of these concepts in a long time. There's so many new people around. Mm -hmm. Everybody decides, you got on this webinar, you were sizing me up. If you haven't met me before and you're deciding, should I listen to her or not listen to her? Now, so far we haven't lost anybody. In fact, we've gained since we started. So I'm assuming that people have decided to listen. If you decided right away, in about a minute, am I going to listen to her or not listen to her? If I got on the phone and went, Hi, everybody. Welcome. We're going to have a great webinar tonight. And Meet a person in the profession. They're going to decide whether to follow you or lead you. It's just like male and female, elder versus younger. It's just the way it is. So when we go out and we're talking, if, yeah? I was going to add to that because you, you, that, that was very, you know, you said, I'm kind of new. I, I, you're in, if you're new, it's okay, but you've got to come across yeah. more confident. Yeah. Big time. And we'll cover all that another night, too. We'll, we're going to do 12 weeks of these or so, so we'll cover everything. Um, but it's so true. You, obviously, you can't do people, but, but I don't know. I'm going to show you how to be a pro in about three minutes. So if I don't have an agenda and I go out tonight and I decide I'm meeting 10 new people that are in this profession and I'm going to check it out and see if there's any of them out there that I might be able to give a hand to, okay? whether with my things that I have going on or whether with the things that I have for my lead system pro, the chances of me generating so many leads tonight is excellent. The chances of me potentially getting somebody into some free training that I have going on is excellent. They will see me as a resource. Then when I send out an email and I go, for, for example, tomorrow, my friends uh, Ray Fong and Fernie Ceballos have a, a mini product launch going on right now. They have a product called the Traffic Playbook. These guys are the traffic dudes. I've known them since 2005, or I've known Fernie since 2005. 
they're the dudes, they're the deal, they know this stuff, and they know how to break down simple for people. Okay, so tomorrow, I'll probably send out an email and go, hey guys, go check out Ray and Fernie, because they got this, this, and this is going on, and this is what's going on, this is what they taught me. Okay, no agenda. I'm just looking to see who wants to learn about traffic. Now, some of you guys don't want to learn about traffic. You won't respond to that letter. Other people do want to learn about traffic. They will respond to that letter. I have no attachment to the outcome. I just want to introduce some people to Ray and Fernie. And when I do, if they buy something, I happen to make some money. Now, some of you guys are going, well, that's great. So I'm going to give out information. I'll show you how in a second. And I'm going to meet a lot of people. I can do that. I get it. But you're sitting here going, so when do I tell them about my MLM? When do I recruit them? Okay. And that is when you're either in correspondence or talking to someone and they express to you that they're not happy or looking for something new or you ask them the question. Vanessa, role play with me. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Yep. So, so Vanessa, what are you working on right now? Oh, I got a few things, but my primary is this great opportunity that teaches people about health and wellness. So you really like it? It's okay. Okay. Well, are you are you solid and dedicated? Are you, are you like looking to learn new things so that you can build that, or are you kind of poking around because you're not sure if that's the right thing for you? Well, I like to work out, and I thought it would be something that would excite me, but I, I don't know. It's okay for now. Okay, so let, let, let's do this. Let's get you some training and information on how you can build that, and if at any point you decide that you're looking for something else, let me know. I can show you some other options, too. Hey, that sounds great. Okay. Now, guys, let's take it out of MLM and make it simple. Vanessa, let's make believe we're two yep. girlfriends talking about the guy you're dating. Yes. Okay. So, Vanessa, do you think he's the one? He is absolutely the one. He's the one. So you don't want to meet because my brother... His best friend from his dorm, he's like, he's so cute. You don't want to meet him. How cute. <laughs> I'm talking cute. <laughs> and, and, yeah, see? <laughs> see and, and, and he comes from a family with a lot of money. Really? So they're going to be down at the, at, the, at the pub tonight. I mean, we could just go down. And, and if you're not interested, you know, it's like no big deal. Well, you know, we're not, like, exclusive over here. So, yeah, I could come down. Okay. Now do it again and be... Um, be like really iffy about your boyfriend. Okay. okay. Vin so Vin Vanessa, you guys have been going out for a long time. You think he's the one? Well, you know, it's been you know five years now, and he just he still hasn't you know made that next step. Yeah. Well, it may be time to open up and look. I mean, you know, five years without any kind of commitment. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I've been kind of thinking that lately too. You know, I, I really love him, and he's you know great, and you know it's been fun, but. I'm really ready to find somebody to settle down with. Well, let me know if you want to go out Friday. We're going to that party. There's going to be a lot of great guys there. You might want to see if you meet someone. I'd be willing to go check it out. Do you guys get this? This is no different than data. You're talking to someone, and you go, so what are you working on? And they tell you, I'm, I'm with Herbalife, and I absolutely love it, and I bleed green, and I have pictures of Mark Hughes all over my house in green underwear, <laughs> okay, which I did, by the way, <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> If they say that, you're just going to help them with, with information, keep them on your list, and sell them some training and tools. Do not try to recruit them, because that's nonsense. That's like somebody trying to move in on somebody that's already married or something. It's weird, okay? Mm -hmm. But the person, if you say, so so totally, what program you work in, I'm working X, Y, Z, I mean, it, it's awesome, you love it? Uh, and they go, well, you know, I really do love it, but I haven't been making any money. Then you can very normally say to someone, well, if at any point you want to explore some other options, let me know. There's nothing offensive about that. Do you guys get that? Mm -hmm. What everybody does is they just start shoving their opportunity, opportunity at everybody they meet. So they never build a list, they never have contacts, and they're never able to you know, send out an offer. And see, the key here is I can send out an offer. I can send out a deal. I just watched one of my colleagues do this. It was, we're starting a coaching program. We're taking this many people. You have to have this much money and be willing to work with us one-on-one -on -one in our primary program. They signed up a buttload of people last night. 
So you can send out an offer. If, for those people that get active this week, if you come in on this level, you're going to get this, this, and that. And it's very easy to sign up a lot of people. In this particular case, it was 93 people. It was a low ticket, we call a low-cost thing, uh, with a, a, what we call a back end. We'll cover all these terms on another night. In, into, oops, into a big ticket. And I cleared $10,000 for that week, a little over 10. Okay. for three days work okay so I know we have a couple minutes left and we're going to wrap it up but I want you to understand if you lead with you always hear lead with value I'm talking about go out and meet people and share with them some information some candy let's go back to MLSP and I'll show you and then we'll check this in see the thing about my lead system pro is inside of here what they give you and you can and you can check this out for as little as two bucks Okay, they give you system campaigns. These are done for you. If this ever opens up, it might want me to re-log in. I'm sure it does. Horrible internet service. <laughs> okay, we're just going. It's Say something. Do something. Tell a joke. Oh, God, no. You, you, you can't think of a good joke when you're put on the spot. <laughs> Come on. All right. Um, let's talk about Stella. Okay. Um, what, what they do, I, want Stella, I want Stella and CJ to meet. I really do. <laughs> what they do is they give you, and uh, I use my own content a lot, so I don't always use these, so you guys might look and you might go, well, you're not using them a ton. You guys don't, you know, I'm, I'm pretty advanced market. I've been doing this for 13 years, so I don't necessarily need to use um, these tools. But tools like this, what we're doing is we're giving you free training to give away from top marketers in the industry. And so, like, let's say I start talking to that lady, and she goes, yeah, and I say, hey, do you guys do anything online, or is it all strictly offline? And she goes, I, I, I want to try online, but I haven't really figured it out. And I say, hey, have you ever um, fooled around with um, Facebook at all? And she goes, you know, I have a Facebook account, but I haven't used it that much. I can go, hey, here's a really great training on how to use Facebook to build your, your MLM. You think she's going to go look at it? Hello. She's going to go look at it when I give her this training. Now, when she gets to this training, I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm able to give away training. Lots of training. We give away training every Wednesday night. We have live training tonight. Uh, tonight it's more of a, um, a mastermind. Top leaders hanging out. I'll be hosting next week. Um, but this is a free 86-minute webinar uh, with the only fully loaded Facebook training you'll ever need. Take you step by step and teach you everything you must know to make money on Facebook, like the guru is starting today. Now, did I build this website, Kathy? Uh, no, you no. didn't. Do I have any clue how to build a website like this? Um, no, you don't, Diane. No, exactly. Do you, I have any clue about any of this? Did I write the copy on this? No, I'm pretty good copywriter, but did I write this copy? No, you didn't. No. Did I write any of the follow-up letters that will come to the mm, here? That would be no. No. Did I do the video training? Uh, no, you didn't no. do that either. I just get to be the candy man and share this with people that need help to learn how to use Facebook. And guess what? When they put in their name and their email, they're on my list and they're now my lead. Okay. Boom. And now I can build a relationship with them, and then when they get cranky because they don't want to do hotel meetings anymore, guess who wins? <laughs> Ching. You do. Now, there's a whole bunch of these in here, guys. They're done for you. They're super easy. You got all of these, right? Then you got every Wednesday night we have free webinars you can invite people to where we have a new training every week. We also have our product campaigns where you can share products that you can sell. These are actual products that people can buy. So we might say, hey, there's a really great Facebook course. You might want to check it out. It's the one they used. Now, obviously, I have used all of these products. So I can whip up a little thing, and I can say to someone, oops, I popped up the... It's really good. Okay, now, would I say that if I didn't leave that? Of course I wouldn't. And this page will load someday. But the point being is that My Lead System Pro gives you everything you need to build a list. 
you can create your own products, and you can create your own pages, and you can create your own copy, and you can write your own letters, and do all that stuff. Or for two dollars, you can get a trial tonight, and you can go ahead and you can check out what's going on in the back office. Now we have everything from uh, what I call the um, the, the uh, novice account, which is designed to be very non-technical to just teach you the basic concepts of how to generate your first leads and how to start making your first sales. And we go all the way up to our mastery level, and that, <laughs> that stinky thing, man, you can make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars with it because you get 100% profit on any of the products you sell. So on these products here, the products that everybody gets access to, you make 30% if you happen to sell one. You can give away all the, uh, the other trainings I told you about for free. But if you're in mastery, you can sell these different profit products, including one that I made, um, mm -hmm. from the top marketers in the company, uh, in, in the industry, and you get to keep 100% of the profits from these particular things. So all these courses, you sell when you keep 100%. So it's pretty cool, and you can check it out for two bucks. But let's go back here, and we'll wrap this up. I want you to understand, it's about meeting people, offering some cool stuff, whether it's your own or whether it's something from Miley System Pro. We have new cool stuff to give away every single week. And then it's about getting them on your list. And it's about sharing offers whether the offer is for your program or whether the offer is for something like Traffic Playbook or Magnetic Sponsoring or whatever else. Think about all the things that you have bought, all the info products you've bought. Guess what? Somebody sold them to you. Why not you? Why not be the one behind the cash register, as my mentor taught me? See, most of us are standing in front of the cash register, taking out our credit card and paying. He taught me to stand behind the cash register and take the credit cards and get paid. It's really, really, really powerful differentiation. Your mind has to flip. People think about how many – my favorite store I like to pick, it's not the store that I go into. I just think it's funny to talk about Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret, it gets all the guys excited and the ladies are like, ooh la la, right? How many people walk into Victoria's Secret on any given day? The answer is, Kathy? A lot. A lot. That's our standard answer, by the way, guys. Not that many or a lot, depending on what we're talking about, okay? A lot of people walk in. How many people buy? A certain percentage, okay? And what Victoria's Secret does is when you buy something, they get your email and junk so they can keep sending you offers and little coupons to get you to come back in. Now, if you go into that store 22 times over the course of the year, what are the chances of you buying something sooner or later? Very, very okay. large. I get people to come into my store over and over and over again, and I don't worry about whether I get them, quote, unquote, that day, because here's what I know. I know they'll be back. Mm -hmm. And on that note, I'd like to invite each and every one of you back next Tuesday. I'll give you some links in a second. I know some of you want them. Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. You can check my blog, which is dianhockman.com. The link to sign up is there, or check back with the person that invited you. To get the link, we're going to do these every other week. We're going to alternate the times. For those of you that would like to get involved with our team, with our private training, et cetera, et cetera this is just public, <laughs> okay? You don't know what we do. In the, in, in the background, like this Saturday, this past Saturday, we had a secret uh, Google uh. Hangout, and I wrote copy for everybody and gave them, you know, swipe copy and headlines and taught them all kinds of stuff, and that's open to my team as well as Kathy's, Vanessa's, and any of our leaders, Mary and Dean, if they happen to invite me here tonight. Um, so we have all kinds of stuff going on. I want you to get back to the person that invited you and say, I'm interested. I'm willing to risk $2. I'm willing to uh, get a three-day trial. And let me poke around and see what's in there. That's what I want you to say to them. If you're with me, it's real simple. You can go to Diane dot. Uh, com forward slash, I think I'm LSP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that might be right. Uh, mm -hmm. I have other links. Just email me if you want one, dianehockman.com, or write it on the fan page. I'll check there for any comments or questions. You have to change your mindset. You have to change your thinking. I wrote a letter to my list today. I wrote two letters today, which I rarely would ever do. The second letter, I said, hey, who wants to work with me on a project? 
so far I have 45 people that have responded and they will keep pouring all night. Can you imagine if you said, hey, who wants to work with me? And you could get 50 to 100 people go, hey, I'd like to talk to you. What would happen? What would happen to you? Or you can run around chasing people, begging them to buy your stuff. Recruit more people by not recruiting. Build the list. Attract people to, to you. Talk to them. Find out what they have going on. We work on all this stuff about how to talk to the people and so on. It's all in your back office as well. You have to learn how to shift the thinking. In 2013 and beyond, the traditional chasing people down just does not work. I don't care what they tell you. Because I promise you, most of the people that are telling you to do that also have a full page ad or have big advertising going on or something else, and you don't know the whole story. I love marketing. I love people like me who started with nothing. I had no money to spend. I had to figure it out. And I love telling people the truth and the reality. If you can build a list, if you can switch your thinking, you can recruit on demand. So let's check the wall. Can see what I leave out? Anything? Um, no, I think it did pretty well. I got the Kathy seal of approval. You did. Which means I did her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Thursdays, I'm going to be doing mindset calls too, starting this week. So this is marketing, marketing concept. Uh, I mean, some nights we'll just get on and I'll show you. I'll generate leads live. That's the other thing I did on Saturday while we were doing uh, our training. I was just generating leads. I ended up generating 28 leads that day, Kathy. Without, without trying. Yeah, I know you did. I know you did. It was annoying, did. wasn't it, watching me do it? It was crazy. <laughs> you, you, you were at 17 when I left. Wow. Yeah, I, yeah we went. Yeah, yeah. We went up. So. But, but didn't we have fun? We did. Steph, as always, I love you. Thank you, and thank you for being part of our group. Uh, Bob Clark, I'm going to poke you. Um, good. Okay, good. Ron, awesome. Debbie Short was right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We got more, more of these European types that won't go to bed. Uh, See, that's why we gotta have them in the afternoon. Those poor people need their sleep. Yeah, it's 3 a.m. Okay. Good, Patsy. I'm glad to hear that you got it. I'm just watching to see what everybody says. Guys, you just want to come up with some good stuff, whether you use the stuff from My Lead System Pro or something that you put together, and you want to go out and you put it on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and or contact people individually. I mean, you could just sit on Twitter and locate people like I just did and just say, hey, I'm just, you know, I'm just, ch you know, visiting with people, hanging out and giving away a free training tonight. Um, you know, okay. Uh, Um, Alexis, I'm not sure of your question because we didn't discuss going out and talking to people at all. I don't espouse going out and talking to people. I like to talk to people. I'm looking for people that are looking for me. That was the phrase my, that my mentor taught me. So when I go out, if I go out to the mall and talk to random people, they're not looking for a business. I'm looking for people that are specifically either in this industry or looking to be in this industry. So I'm finding them, and we'll get into more training. Gosh, guys, it's all in my lead system pro. You can locate them on YouTube. They're all searching. You can locate them on Google. They're all over the Internet sitting in little pools. I call them pools of fishies. And those pools of fishies are sitting there, and they're just hungry. <laughs> all you need is the right bait. Drop it in, and they're just chomping at you. It's mm -hmm. very, very easy. <laughs> Scott has humor. Okay. Uh, let's see. Awesome. You know what, Jerry? I love you. And the pecking order stuff is very important. If you guys understand that people will defer to you or you will defer to them and it's your choice, uh, it'll change your life. Franco and I go way back, Scott. You have no idea. <laughs> Franco and I go way back. Um, pecking order. Awesome. It really is stuff. Try it out. Just go out and just start to notice physically who's responding to who. And guys, you don't have to be in a business environment. You could be at the PTO. You could be you know, anywhere, watch. If you walk into a store, you're going to notice how people behave around one another. They're all lining up in order. I say it's like uh, when your third grade teacher yelled, line up, and sometimes you had to line up in size order. Or sometimes you had to line up in alphabetical order, but there was generally an order. And people are searching, constantly searching for order. If you understand this about people, you can make a lot of money. Uh, the only drug I'm on is Diane Hockman. <laughs> Keith, thank you. You know it was just uh, whatever, I, I, an example to get people to think. Awesome. 
Dave, you should tell me what it is you're offering. D uh, direct message me if you want. Tell me what you're offering, and then I will know what to do. <laughs> Guys, I really want to tell you about Angus because he is not flirting with me. I just want you all to know that we just have a, 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 a fabulous relationship. Um, I always worry, Kathy, that people are going to see Angus. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you know, I read it earlier in the in the thread. Um, Dave's product is a is a cash back card. Okay. So that's that's pretty easy. It's pretty easy because it's the same thing. When you're offering tools and training to people in the marketplace. And you're just talking to them and finding out what are they, like right now I can ask you guys, so what are you guys working on? Some of you guys are here because you have something you love and you want to improve your skills. Some of you guys here because you're kind of searching for the right place. Um, and that's different people. So I don't want to solicit someone or, or kind of pitch someone that's happy where they are. I might sell them a tool or a training or get them an MLSP so I can help them out. But I don't want to. I don't want to try to sign him up into a deal because they're already in a deal. It's like a guy who has, you know, girl has a boyfriend. You don't want to like hit on a girl that has a boyfriend, but you might hang around until she dumps him. Um, for those of you that are looking, you know, feel free to call me or Kathy or Vanessa or whoever you're attracted to, because of course we have something to show you. But if it's a cash back card when you're having a conversation with someone, um, you know, and they're telling you about what they're doing, how's that going for you? Um, you know, I'm working on something that's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's, pretty, it's going pretty good. And then they go, well, what is it? They're, they're either going to ask you or you're looking for the opening to ask them if they're, you know, if they want to see what it is. Or if they're on your list, it's a lot easier because then you just write an email and see who responds. So I generally just write an email and go, hey, who's looking? Do you want to talk? I, I've, I've even said, um, I've even been as silly as writing on Facebook, hey, um, direct message me if you'd like me to pitch you today. <laughs> <laughs> and they do. <laughs> and then they all write me, please pitch me. Please tell me what you got. So believe it or not, if you serve and if you love on people and you're constantly out there helping people, why do people know me? Because I'm always out there doing stuff, helping people. I'm not worried about me. By the way, I was always, people go, well, it's easy for you. You make money. No, I was always like that. Because I understood that the more I spread my seed, well, that sounds intimate too, Kathy. <laughs> no, like a farmer. Like a farmer. Yeah, okay, farmer. And the more I go. went out and I did that, what would happen is more would take root and more people would show up that were interested in working with me. So I do not, um, I do not, uh, you know, worry about, I mean, how many people have, uh, here have I talked to on the phone that you know me and that Happy. It's not my job to take them away from what they love or what they do. It's not my job. I mean, Steph could tell. Steph's on the phone. I knew what program she was with and everything else. I never solicited her anything else. Looks like this actually, and you're just gonna here. It's like this. Username. Dot my lead system pro.com forward slash intro. So you need your person's username, mine is Diane Hockman. Kathy's is Kathy Heath. Whoops, all one word. Vanessa's is yours V Duplassy? Yes. Yeah, I knew it. See they all have work in two minutes. It's too much too to check this out um, and that's that's what you want to do tonight so we love to have you with us we'd love to have you in some of our private stuff and also uh, with the different things I put out if you're with any one of my leaders they get the stuff you know I put stuff up for my guys and then I give them the stuff for their guys so it's all accessible for those of you if you're not with one of my leaders suck up to me and I'll give it to you anyway probably <laughs> and the reason why is because if you get involved they're going to become a leader so it's all good um, one last thing uh, my Lead System Pro is not a bit an income opportunity. It does not have a multi-level component. I make if you're not with me because you know you're invited here by one of my guys. Well, I, I let my guys invite all their people because I care about you and I want everybody to do well. I do not make income. 
if you join, if you put people in or anything else. I have no incentive to teach you this other than I want to help people have a great home business. Um, and I want people to be free to do what their heart desires. Um, I want you to put your money where your heart is. I want you to go and do what you were born to do. So on that note, I am violently hanging up on all these people. <laughs> I'll be around more. I'll check the wall if you have questions or issues or anything else. And, of course, as always, make sure you're on my list at dianehockman.com. <laughs> I'm collecting them all. Um, because... <laughs> And on note, I'm getting off the phone. I have a date with Matt Laporte on the phone. Mm -hmm. so I will Thanks see you guys fun. in a little bit. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Night, Ness. See ya. Bye.